Hey Pisces, I'm Crystal. I'm going to do a love reading, okay? We're going to do this side and this side for you and your partner. Take which side resonates for you. The other side will be the person on your mind or your partner. I feel like you're making plans to go ahead and take a risk here, okay? Um, the King of Wands. I feel like you are being courageous about something. Two of Cups and then the Death card and the Wheel. Something's definitely ending and I feel like you are walking away from something. Being courageous, stepping away from it, okay? Because things have changed or the person has changed, okay? Or even you, your feelings have changed. So let's see how this person's feeling. Selfish desires, rebound, big mistake, disoriented, healing self and shadow work, secrets and unsolved mysteries. Somebody's feeling that somebody made a really big mistake, you know? selfish, always wanting whatever they want, you know, eat their cake and, you know, have their cake and eat it too. You have rebounds, so I don't know if I'm um, feeling like a rebound here or maybe feeling like um, you're always somebody's, like, second person, right? I feel like you don't feel like you come first. I feel like you always feel like you come last to this person, right? And I feel like with the secrets and unsolved mysteries, you might be hiding something or your person might be hiding something, and they're very confused. It's a big mistake. Something happened and they messed up. So what the other person's going through, anger, rage, resentment, chaos, confusion, deep, dark depression. Fear of love, heavy burdens, divine timing, mind games. Somebody feels like they're being messed with and then you got social media. I feel like somebody's watching social media, maybe like tarot readings to kind of like help heal themselves. You guys may also have like be into tarot and maybe you guys watch it so much that maybe your person is watching it too because you got social media influences and living a lie. Somebody, even maybe even both of you guys maybe have done some dirt on each other, right? And I feel like this person has a lot of anger, resentment. They're in deep depression. They have a fear of love. This person may be somebody who kind of like runs away or just never gives you their full self right they play mind games they play a lot of tricks you know they, they broken promises um this person doesn't even know what they want chaos and confusion deep dark depression living a lie this person may be in another relationship this person may be um lying to themselves about what it is that they want right but i feel like somebody has done a lot of like negative shit and it made the other person not trust them and now they're afraid to love them all right so of course you got finding self so somebody like i said is watching social media influences watching things to help get themselves out of the situation that they're in, doing a lot of shadow work and healing, you know, taking care of themselves. You got casual counterparts. Like I said, somebody here is definitely moving back and forth. Um, you got two twos, two, two of wands, two of cups. This person may always just like jump to the next. King of cups, the universe wants you to keep calm and cool keep yourself balanced especially your emotions okay especially if you're trying to make plans to go ahead and move do it with a clear mind okay you have king of wands king of cups definitely could be a third party situation you have the high priestess i feel like you know what it is that you need to do you may know some secrets maybe this person doesn't know that you know right but i feel like this person knows and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this has been a long time coming. Or Seven of Pentacles, you may have been with this person for a long time. And you had the wheel again. So it's like things are changing. Things are ending. Closing at a cycle, right? Think of very logically, though. Making sure that what, what you're doing is the right move. So with the Two of Wands, you're carefully planning. You're planning to go ahead and take a risk. But you want to make sure that what you're doing is going to be the right thing. It's going to bring peace and harmony and balance and not you know something even worse no further problems right so i feel like you guys are being very smart about your moves here taking your time to uh make sure that you guys don't just jump into anything or away from anything too fast without you know making a plan you have the three of pentacles so it's like you will be able to rebuild okay you will be able to be you're going to be fine all right you have people that are willing to help you as well you have <laughs> The Four of Cups. No, nope, it's not the Four of Cups. It's the Eight of Swords. The universe wants you to get out of your head, okay? Definitely, I, I don't know if this person told you bad stuff about yourself, brought your confidence down, 
you know, made you think a whole bunch of their lives is true. And I feel like you need to look yourself in the mirror and say some good stuff to yourself. Okay, don't believe what this person says to you. And also don't stay stuck where you're not appreciated and not loved and wanted. Not saying they don't love you, but you have the three of cups. So you got two threes here. Definitely could be a third party here, okay? And you have the justice card. The universe just wants you to make a decision for what's best for you. What's healthier for you, mentally-wise? Because I feel like you're all stuck up in your head. You don't know what to do. I feel like you're kind of waiting for this person to maybe change, to, to choose you, right? But I feel like, let's see what your person feels. Just seeing the Seven of Cups, confusion. And you got chaos and confusion. Okay, nice. Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Your person is ready to make a commitment to bring peace, bring balance, right? But the Knight of Pentacles is like this person's dragging their feet, okay? This person is taking it slow. I feel like they always try to wait and wait and wait. So like next time, next time, next time, I'll change. Nine of Cups and the Two of Swords. So you may not trust that this is going to happen, okay? But just know, maybe you need to pull your energy away from this person in order for this person to do the work that they need. If you stay there, they not, they're not going to change because they feel like all they have to do. I mean, they already have you, so what's the point, right? But I feel like if you pull your energy away from them or at least, like, lay down the law, set more better boundaries, I feel like this person is willing they, they love you. They don't want to lose you. This person's willing to stay with you. But they, you know, they're just very conflicted about maybe how to do it. What are they conflicted over? They're about to open up the door. The Ten of Cups. Is this their happily ever? Is this what they wished for? <clears throat> when you take your energy away from them, they'll realize. They'll feel that. And then they'll do the stuff that they need to do in order to make this right for you. Let's get a timing card. That is beautiful. Outside and it's gray and it's... Sorry. Okay, we got the Hierophant for the timing. The Hierophant would make me think, what is it, Taurus? We're in Taurus season, so it might even be close to like next year. So it might be a while. Well, when I said next year, you got the wheel. And the wheel is like a whole cycle. You know, like when the cycle ends cycle ends and it starts i feel like this person has a lot of changing to do especially with the here if this person has to has some morals have figure out what it is that they want to do you got the eight of wands so it could be anywhere from like a year eight months to a year but that's because this person has a lot of work to do and you can't be there to interfere it and don't get in the way of their karma either don't get in the way of their learning don't get in the way of their karma you know I feel like you always feel like you want to save this person, but this person can only save themselves. You have the Nine of Cups, so it's like, it will be fine. Things are going to be okay, but this person has to find their own happiness. Page of Swords, they have to start, they're not thinking clearly. Somebody's not thinking clearly. The Seven of Swords, yeah, <laughs> that's why. So, what else? Anything else? Three of Swords. It's not going to be easy to cut off your energy from this person. It's not going to be easy to cut off your love from this from this person, but it's something that you're going to have to do. It's going to be heartbreaking. I know this, but if you want this person to come back to you whole, you have to release your energy from this person because if you don't, this person has you already, so they're going to say, well, I already got this person, so why do I need to change? You know, I don't have to change. So that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. And there's the wheel once again. The wheel is also about karma, destiny, um, things coming back around, okay? Um, it's meant to be. It's also about closing out a chapter and beginning a brand new one. So I do feel like, like I said at the beginning, I do see you guys walking away from this. You guys are ready to make moves. But I feel like you're still doubting if you'll be if you'll be okay so i just trust yourself and trust that the universe has your best interest at heart and that they're going to bring you what is meant for you okay that's what i got for you guys i hope you guys like my content have a good day toodles